somebody I want to share the uh, new uh, design review of Structure Ag Motion. And uh, as you can see, they're, they're charged with uh, a few features that I'd like to comment about. And I will uh, try to impress them on my UTV tactical method class. The main concept of the of the main uh, bag is the fact that it's uh, a pocket with uh, one belt. Uh, as you can see, not only the, the one belt uh, characteristic is uh, common among many SP bags, but it is also the fact that they all have a, a flap on top. What uh, makes uh, them uh, all pretty much uh, perform in the same way and uh, what uh, defines them as a competition bag. Direct competition for the UTV uh, tactical messenger bag is the Max Elite Gun Barrel Motor Pack, the 511 Inch Pack, and others. Uh, most of the generic uh, bags have the design of a, I mentioned, is a main pocket with the flap that covers it. The features of the UTG uh, messenger bag are basically four uh, big pockets uh, and five extra ones each side uh, the, the bigger pockets for each belt. The UTG versus bag features four uh, big pockets uh, and five extra uh, less important pockets on each side. Usually they mesh, as you can see, and uh, some of them uh, have a Velcro strap, in this case, the one for the bottle, and it has one uh, important feature, that is the draining hole. That particular pocket is waterproof. Some of the added value Messenger bag is a uh, belt loop, some molly webber, and a carabiner, unlike the main competition bag. It also features uh, some extra side pockets and what I consider the most tactical pocket. Most importantly, I carry my uh, portable internet, my flashlight, my pocket knife, etc. The reason I consider the side pocket the most important one is the fact that uh, when you're walking, you can carry your, your hand on top of it, and that makes it uh, a more secure pocket when you walk in the current world crowded streets. Um, as you can see, it has, a, it has a small inside pocket and some molly webbing outside to uh, widen the, the, the range of uses it has. The main pocket, the central pocket, is it, it is very well sized. As you can see, underneath the, the sleeve, I carry my netbook with uh, along with some uh, papers and cables. And uh, it also has two mesh pockets inside. Overall, it's a very well-sized uh, main pocket. Part of the customization value is the molly webbing. I highly recommend not use the the Grimlock uh, carbiner, and the fact that it has a, a already heated small carbiner with uh, a little pocket underneath, underneath that uh, it seems uh, perfect to carry keys around, as you can see. One of the advantages of the uh, use of a standard carabiner is that, as you can see, you can use it as any other uh, load-bearing attachment. And if you need to, you could also detach it, use it as a, as a wall-climbing device. What uh, makes uh, this, ba this bag a tactical bag 
is the fact that he has a concealed carry pocket, which is just a, a small pocket uh, where you can f uh, carry your firearm. It also has Velcro inside that I found that uh, is unnecessary as you can use your f um, put your firearm inside without a holster on there. One thing I really like about the design is the fact that you can uh, sit down and um, stand up easily on the standard chair um, wearing it without taking it off. Another good thing is that you can also um, easily walk with it and walk with your hand inside the tactical pocket and draw your firearm if necessary. I have also found that from the standard position it's not that easy to withdraw the, the weapon. It's actually hard to get your hand in and uh, draw. But actually after a while you of, um, of practice you could proficiently draw your weapon and reholster it. Another feature of the design is the fact that you can easily get in and out of a car, uh, doesn't matter what kind of car it is, um, with a bag on. In this case, I'm getting in and out of a pickup truck, a single seat, but you could also get in and out of, uh, of a small uh, automobile easily with it, without taking it off. One brilliant thing about it is that you can get in and out of the car with it, but you can also draw your firearm inside the car from the bag without um, much problem in the train. The only two suggestions I have for the EPT team is uh, the fact that they should add a top handle to the bag and um, the fact that they should uh, deliver the bag or deliver manually so the owner, the new owner, knows what the each pocket was designed to to hold um, but that's it I'm very very pleased with my bag and thanks a lot everybody for watching